it's hot, hot, hot. But it's not just summer hot. It's historic heat wave hot. It is oppressive. <laughs> it is, uh, it's been very hot this week. Florida is supposed to be hot in the summer. That's why people flock to the beach. But this year, it's worse. I feel hotter this year compared to any of the other years. I don't remember being this hot when I was a kid. It's the Sunshine State's hottest year on record. Miami keeps setting daily records in the mid-90s and heat indices near 110. It's not just Florida. Texas and California both baking under an expanding heat dome. I'm new to Texas, so this is super new to me. I'm from Michigan, so it is not this hot ever. Texas suffered from a brutal heat wave last month. And this one could be worse. All across the Lone Star State, the real air temperatures will hit the triple digits. It's been over 100 degrees in El Paso for 27 days straight. And the National Weather Service says there could be record-breaking heat Saturday through Tuesday. It's hotter and hotter every summertime. Texans are using a lot of power to stay cool. The electric grid management company predicts they could set power demand records this week. All that seems downright cool compared to Phoenix. It's been over 110 for almost two weeks and could hit 118 this weekend. This heat wave that we're experiencing right now can be fatal. Free water and cooling stations are open across the city. We have very clear evidence that global warming is the primary driver of that increase in, in the frequency of severe heat, the increase in the co-occurrence of severe heat. Las Vegas could tie the high of 117 on Sunday and Monday. The heat dome stretching into California's San Joaquin Valley could see all-time highs of 117, making it a dangerous, historic heat wave.